Hello YouTube. So what we are going to attempt to make is a chainsaw lumber mill guide. You can buy these made out of metal. Uh, in Canada here they're about $65 on average. Why not make it yourself? So I've got two pieces of 2x4 which we'll use for the backing. They are 5 inches long each. Two pieces of plywood of your choosing. This happens to be half inch. And they are 12 inches long, two and three quarters inches wide. And I've chosen a piece of ready rod because that's what I had sitting around. You might want bolts and a coupler, totally up to you. This method will require you to drill a hole in your chainsaw bar, which we will get to later. Uh, I might make a note too that I've sanded all the pieces, which will be the inner parts of the guide just to make sure there's no snags hanging up on our 2x4 that will show later as your running guide for the length of your log. Okay we've now have this assembled using number 12 inch and a half inch wood screws maybe a little bit overkill. I wanted it nice and secure and they just happen to be laying on the shelf nice and close. So I put four on each side by fours in the center. I left this little window here for the sole purpose of this ready rod we will drill through here later. So more so a visual check on things, make sure everything's okay and not binding up etc. So we will drill a hole through here to the other side for that ready rod later. And again I sanded everything that's on the inside to make it nice and smooth when it slides on our length guide. Okay, so we've done the final assembly. Lock nut washer, washer on the inside, backing nut so it doesn't spin, more backing nuts and a washer. I put a washer and a lock nut, a nylock nut in the center there to keep this section from spinning. We've also made just a couple two inch plywood spacers with a hole through them for the ready rod. And on this side, I put one also to keep it nice and rigid so the deflection is minimalized. And a washer, two nuts for backing and locking. So the next thing is to get our 2x4 guide bar ready, which will go in to here. There's our pivot. And what I'm going to do with the 2x4 guide that's going to go underneath is I'm going to sand the top and the sides just as I did into the interior of the guide just to make sure it slides nice and smooth.